although my background initially was in sculpture, I have translated that or managed to work that into the work I do on paper. I think of paper as a three-dimensional object, and so I deal with paper that way. Even though I make paintings on paper, I still think of them as objects on paper. I work with numerous different materials. I work a lot with fabric. I work on paper. I work large scale. I work small. My practice is very, very diverse. And it's also to some extent a little bit performative in that how I use my body and the tools I choose are very important to how I work. Walls are very important to what I do because I do I work directly on the walls, often I do site-specific work, and I also need to step back and have a look at the works. And I'm very attentive to where the work is taking me next and what the materials, where they want to take me next. So it's, it, it has its own path, it, it creates its own momentum, and uh, I think that's why being in the studio regularly is really important. It's also why having exhibitions and showing the work outside of the studio is really important so that you have that not only feedback but you have that sense of what it's like to see the work outside your own walls. Whether I'm dealing with the figure or I'm dealing with abstracted figures or I'm dealing with abstraction altogether is always about a kind of body experience, whether it's how I've made the, de the gesture or how I've cut those felt lines. Um, it's about being present and being attentive. And so I hope that for a moment people will stand still and have a look and try not to think about what I was doing with this piece or with one of the pieces, but what they see in the piece and what the piece is to them.